in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, uh, your excellencies, reverend attendants, good morning. And on behalf of His High Excellency, Professor Jamal Sanad al Sayed, Director General of Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research, I'd like to welcome you in symposium the role of platforms, media platforms, reality, and aspects that discuss the realities of various media platforms anticipating a future prospect at all levels. And we start with the keynote address with His Excellency Dr. Uh, Professor Jamal Asawaydi, Director General Emirates Center for Strategic Studies, delivered by Amal. Uh, please take the floor, Ms. Sam. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, Your Excellencies and Highness, dear attendants, Assalamu alaikum. I'm very happy and honored to welcome you here in the Center for Strategic Studies and Researchers and welcome and thank you so much for answering our invitation to attend the symposium that holds the title of the role of uh, plat or media platform reality and aspirations to which ha uh, tries to find mechanisms to support traditional media and to find mechanisms to control the digital content and support the societal awareness within the uh, space uh, digital uh, media is having today and the increase in awareness or uh, outreach of the uh, society to deal with the challenges of the new digital media. Uh, along with that, the symposium will present many of uh, information experiences to take conclusions that guide us in the arrival to reach the uh, media address and discourse uh, that will balance between efficiency and responsibility on the other side. Your Highnesses and Excellencies, uh, Reverend Attendants, that information and media doesn't need any clarification anymore. And as much as we have countries, states, and groups in the world that seek to implement and function media for development and uh, values like tolerance and uh, positive values dissemination through this vital uh, sector, other sides and other parties are trying to distort awareness and they never hesitate to mislead and misinform and twist uh, facts and realities to achieve their goals. Uh, this adds to the challenge challenge that we are facing by or faced by the traditional and the wise and well-guided leadership in the United Arab Emirates, headed by His uh, Highness Sheikh Khalifa, the President of the country, God protect him and he who clarified and his Mohammed bin Zayed, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Deputy Commander of UAA and forces uh, also put lots of interest on this. He said media is not a profession, it's a message, a sublime message, noble message. It's a, a trust. We are entrusted with this word. It should be a building and corner stoke in building peace and security if it is a place rightly and used rightly. It must be to, a, a tool to construct, not to distract. And as the as a result of the awareness of the Merit Center for the importance of media, it devoted lots of st studies and researches for media for 25 years. And this symposium also is added or enlisted to a, a long list of symposium conferences annually and workshops also that coped with all the developments and cases and uh, affairs of media. And we are sure that this symposium will be uh, just an addition to the media that takes uh, or needs lots of care. Your Excellencies and Highnesses, the panelists who are here today, we are honored to have, and from the media work, we will have and will we'll give approaches and conclusions about developing Arab media and information, so whether the traditional or the new, and how to take it up to the anticipated and uh, uh, pre uh, levels also to uh, support the message and enhance its message. This will pave the way for application and will reflect and tangibly as we usually from other uh, activities in the center, it will be translated into reality and benefits in all levels. Again, we welcome you and wish you symposium all the success. Thank you so much. All thanks to His Excellency Professor Jamal Sanad, Associate General Director, Emirates for Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research, for this 
address and message. And now for the keynote uh, delivered by uh, Her Excellency Dr. Doria Sharafuddin, former Minister of Information in the uh, Arab Republic of Egypt. His Excellency Professor Jamal Sanad Al Suwaidi, Director General of Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'd like to express in the beginning for my happiness to be with you, to be with you in this symposium in this great country from which I visited many times and every time I come I see new and innovative things and this is a chance to extend my congratulations to the Center for Strategic for the Shelva Jubilee, Jubilee for his completing 25 anniversary and I wish it all the time all the success. Platform Media platform rules, reality and aspirations, reality and the future is a very vital importance. These platforms are the tangible product of a human mind and innovations in the communication center. And it made a traditional, a traditional media, mainstream media are facing a fierce battle when many of audiences uh, especially the young generation uh, uh, change direction and to, to tackle with the digital, to tackle and listen more to the digital. But back to a quick review to the historical, to the history, human history, which used the word to communicate with others and then invented the letter for writing, then invented the printing in the, twin, the middle of the 15th century. And in the 19th century, communication tools, we have also the telephone till we reach the radio and the cinema, later the television, for the beginning of the 21st. The first satellite went into space in the 60s of the, la of the late uh, century, either 20th century, then developed things, then we have the communication satellites making a mutation in all communication means that known by human sense creation. This l long level, till now we are embedded in the uh, media platforms. These are the latest technology and communication in the 21st century. And every time, with every invention, we, it's expected that this will supersede the old and displace it from the arena, but this doesn't happen. And all media channels remain. <coughs> Broadcasting did not supersede the radio, as an example. They all integrated and all worked in harmony. I say this introduction because I believe there is no new technology tool will supersede the old. It's uh, true that the new will take the place and and have more capabilities than the old, but history or maybe the reality told us that all media communication tools, whether new or old, are always there. Uh, his uh, Professor Jamal San Sanad al Suwaidi has a book uh, from a tribe from a tribe to Facebook book that took me back to the primitive man. Now, with the attraction of the new represented in the digital media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, and etc., etc., which became the destination and uh, the end all younger generations want to comment and uh, participate in opinion and to uh, be updated with all that is new around the world, to the, giving him the ability to be part of the event and citizen to be the journalist, to be the citizen journalist, broadcaster that anchored all this flux of a media has its attraction. This attraction uh, are owned by these uh, uh, platforms. Indeed, it's more clear in the Arab region, particularly, because majority of people are young. With these reasons, as we mentioned before, are those mostly a majority of those who use this digital media, and they are the fastest in following, using, and uh, and simulating the media con digital media contact. Generally, the whole world is trying to find an information and media environment. But cooperation with this became a rich daily ritual, even for uh, adults. Some of them are good, some of them are bad and evil. 
like, for example, recruiting terrorism, also racial, uh, xenophobia, and uh, threats to security. That's why we always say media and information can face terrorism and also it can uh, also at the same time create or make uh, terrorism. It can make union and make disintegration. Mainstream media is not became the main activity. It has a, a competitive that is contender is that are ready to sweep all financial and technological uh, challenges and barriers to reach the citizen wherever he is. The revenues, the financial revenues, the proceeds are very, very huge. And the margin of freedom that gives is very, very big, even if it is, uh, and it is uh, not within the scope, under the radar. And the mainstream media do don't represent a dangerous th or a threatening uh, danger. B but mainstream is trying to copy and integrate with this. This is the solution. And uh, doubtlessly that all media channels will remain mainstream and the digital media. None will, that the old will not die out, but it will work, and with the new, old tools must always work to develop and to change and make unharmonize or integrate, which means that should work always to update and develop media and its tools. But also, we must raise the rights, the ceiling of the human rights and the freedoms. And despite the reality that traditional media is still watched and followed by Arab region, and the uh, events in this region are still continuing, uh, yet and still the mass media, but the contention in the immediate future will not be easy. And it, non-traditional or the digital media will take uh, almost half of the, uh, all of the media in, by 2025. These augurs can, and the predictions can uh, be true or might be doesn't true, but the, their integration with the between the old and the new is a must, and this is the immediate future, as I believe. Thank you so much, Dr. Jamal Assawadi. Thanks for all the attendance. All thanks to Her Excellency Dr. Doria Sharaf Din for her uh, uh, letter. And now I'd leave you with a ten minutes break. After that, we'll resume our the activities of the symposium. Thank you. We start the agenda of our symposium, the role of media platforms, reality and aspirations, uh, paneled and the moderator uh, by Mr. Faisal Ben Hurais, media professional and the presenter of Sky News Arabia. His Excellence, uh, Professor Jamal Sanal Swaid, uh, Her Excellence, uh, Dr. Doria Sharaf Din, our honored attendance, welcome to this symposium in which we discuss the role of uh, media platforms, realities and aspirations. Question. First, what is the aspiration? What is the level of aspiration we are looking for? This is the first question. To make it simpler, what is the excellent level in media? What is the criterion? that we can measure through which we can measure the excellence of media. There is a saying, the enemy of the excellent level is to accept the good level. So how do we know originally that we are good? Many organizations say we are above excellent, more than excellent many discussions and many symposia we attended the discourse was the level is excellent what is the criterion here big companies and in industries in any product presented on the market is adopted and uh, measured against criteria. In this session, we'll talk with my colleagues in the f many fields to find the criterion, the touchstone to reach the aspiration and define the aspiration. What is the objective? Do we have an objective for this entity, this program, this uh, journal originally? Have we collected data to achieve the goal? 
Do we believe in uh, reaching this goal? Do we have a flexibility and resilience to face the challenges on the way of achieving our goal? These are some of the questions we'll put for our colleagues and audience. Said before, some theorists in media and communication zigzaglar, if I was asked to give up all my faculties and talents and the properties and maintain and keep one only, I, I would keep the art of influence, the making and creation of influence, through which I can regain all what I lost and between the brackets easily. So media and information is a very important tool to influence in the environment and, uh, and impact the ultimate and far away environment. But we mustn't accept the good level, which is the enemy of excellence. But we must know how to reach that excellent level through professional criteria and not randomly and uh, as um, temperaments. I'd like to welcome my friends and my colleagues, which I, I'm proud to know and learn a lot from. Mr. Hamad Al Kabi, editor in chief, Al Ittihad newspaper, and also Abdullah Al Bandar, presenter and content creator, Sky News Arabia, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Also, Mr. Abdul Rahman Al Harisi, executive director of Abu Dhabi Network, United Arab Emirates. We start the discussion by ask by a paper and some information presented by Mr. Hamad Al Kabi about the mechanisms of supporting mainstream media to cope and keep abreast with the development we are witnessing in technology. Assalamu alaikum. His Excellency Professor Jamal Hassan Waidi, General Director of Emirates Center for Strategic Studies, uh, honored attendance. Thanks a lot for this symposium and for your attending uh, because it has big influence, direct influence on the media generally. And to uh, from, to move from narrative, and I made a presentation, simple presentation, we that can uh, convey some of what we think here in media, in mainstream media, which we call it professional media, some numbers, some facts, some figures, some facts, and the stages of developing of uh, these stages. I'll be with you in the presentation. At first, we all realize some people call it traditional media, and as I said, that this media is digital. Gen Media generally has a three stages or phases. Some describe media or journalism that will die out, but in fact, it will not die out. It will not be extinct. The tools might be extinct, but the industry of journalism will not be extinct at all. But tools might change, like any other industry that work for inhuman beings. There are lots of industries, lots of industries that known by humanity, like transportation, also transportation also, like uh, journalism has uh, passed through many phases, and UAE, as we knew there was, three stages in the UAE, in the beginning of the establishment of the foundation of the country. There was a wall or the graffiti that was uh, we wrote on the newspaper and billboards in some of the popular cafes uh, where people would uh, write some of the news uh, and some uh, news would be six months uh, old but now after that uh, started with the journalism uh, with the publication of Al-Ittihad newspaper after that we have many new papers 
uh, till from then till now journalism is developing and the tools also are changing all the time the conclusion uh, is the reality shows us that the development of industry doesn't mean cancelling or the cancellation of its stages and these are stages that we lived through three stages I mean the first stage with the absence of electronic or digital media it was only paper paper media a television also radio broadcasting it was very active the second stage in the 90s, the beginning of the introduction of uh, newspapers, uh, not in UAE only, but around the world. Also the st introduction of, or the advent of digital uh, channels. These sites and channels had the role to support the paper and the traditional media. It was a kind of supportive role supportive role for journalism or traditional uh, media. Until recently, these uh, digital sites supported mainstream uh, media, but the current phase now is a stage of integration between, between the digital and the mainstream or the paper, between uh, traditional media and the digital media. So in all organizations, uh, and, com and companies around the world have uh, uh, depended on digital uh, platforms to, the, uh, to, to support its uh, traditional media uh, channels, but in other advanced countries, the states or these organizations uh, depended mainly on, uh, on the mainstream media to support the digital. So, again, the stage first, uh, first absence of digital media. Second, the digital, the digital will support the traditional media. Third, mention now the traditional, traditional uh, media will support the digital. Some, uh, so, so these advanced countries made the traditional media to support the digital uh, technology. In New York Times, for example, the executive director of the New York Times, Mark Thompson, put a limit to the argument between the future of the traditional media and the relationship with the digital and guaranteed the success of both tools. And he said the main idea is to move. The main thing, the plan should uh, support the participants in the pr printing stage. And he also said at the same time, we must focus on the digital work so that we have a successful developing system to separate the news. After. So it's integration he is talking about the, uh, and the direction or the trend the New York Times is taking. Integration between the digital and the traditional media a quick review the guardian also in the united states in the united kingdom and some of the figures guardian is rated as number 1 uh, newspaper it's uh, published in 70 million population the edition the paper edition is 100,000 editions so the number is uh, dwarfed by the amount of population yet it's rated the first but the subscribers on the digital platforms reach more than 40 million uh, subscribers in the Guardian. And this gives us the impression that half or more than half of UK are Guardian subscribers or read subs uh, the Guardians. In 2015-2016, 57 million dollars are the net profits of the Guardian. In 2018, 2019, 800 uh, sterling pound of profits and the work it took, the transformation process uh, from uh, traditional to digital took seven years. So it took seven years to move from traditional to digital. So 2000, uh, now the result, 
55% of the proceeds or revenues of Guardian come from digital resources, 8% come from uh, from uh, paper uh, journals, from paper information. USA Today is also one of the biggest uh, papers in uh, the States. USA Today announced uh, a few weeks ago the closure and the termination of the paper edition or and moving to the digital information and media. A German study shows, uh, recent, showed that the future of the printed uh, journalism and made a survey that 42 expected uh, the can cancellation of the printed journalism is untrue. 34 uh, said that it is decisive that they would end. And some said also, 9% said that at 10 years, it would take 10 years. 15 uh, may were neutral or conflicting opinions. The form of the printed uh, journalism in the future, 55% will be for the specialized and all uh, for the spread the news and also will be for uh, 44 the other fields or newspapers there are many tracks to make or for the sustainability of uh, traditional media first this comes from or through uh, experiments of many channels around the world first we must depend on visual aids and the way this papers uh, and cope with the digital transformation so it's natural to depend that the audience will be attracted visually and uh, with some other effects to attract them to the paper or to the printed journalism also diversity of media discourse uh, with some effects, especially to make our news and uh, articles concise and attractive. A pro avoid verbo verbiosity. Elaboration in the news and articles uh, are not something laudable now, so this they are tending to make a news are uh, concise and uh, quick attractive so it depends more on uh, attraction e effects it's also uh, papers should uh, also uh, pay attention to what is happening on the internet and uh, digital media let's go to the figures of uh, digital ads some uh, describe these ads as treasure <coughs> that can change uh, the reality of media organizations. Many companies are suffering now from finance problems. $177 billion is the value of ads. 33.3% of this value is the total of ads in all forms, whether digital or paper. Google's share is $79.4 billion, Facebook $26.9 billion of this value. So you find the big share goes to Google. So the digital took the biggest share, 70. They go to Baidu, Microsoft, Twitter. Digital ads is a really treasure that can change media organizations. Arab, in the Arab region we have been, the value is $1 billion, 5% of the ads value in all forms. We have a growth rate. Annually we have 20% of uh, a growth rate. And this comes from Zenit for uh, commercial uh, marketing. We have many uh, aids that can maximize uh, and optimize the digital ads and commercials in the Middle East or MENA. The users uh, of uh, mobile phones in Arab, we have uh, $1 million by 2022, $798 billion in 2017. Internet users will be 549 billion citizens in 2022, 41%. 
how to optimize uh, from the influencers on social media. The influencer on social media and uh, paper uh, newspapers, whether a writer or a guest, can attract a new uh, strata of readers and link them to the younger generation sector. Also, some Twitters uh, by influencers can give a credibility and attraction uh, and bring more influence uh, to the paper. Mechanisms, now mechanisms how to support uh, the traditional media growth. First, we have to depend business model that uh, goes uh, hand in hand and harmonize with the world market. Also, uh, uh, we must survey uh, uh, readers about how they are read, how much they are prepared to pay for uh, uh, tools and services, media services. Also, the papers uh, getting a percentage of the revenues of Google and Facebook also uh, keeping abreast with the uh, market, whether a journalistic or non-journalistic of the paper. Also, developing the paper edition through which can uh, import digital content. In al Atihad newspaper, for example, that the paper edition when it is in WhatsApp, is more popular through subscription uh, from the paper uh, copy. Also, adoption of a comprehensive media concept. Also, a sponsorship idea must be also developed to reach the targeted uh, audience. And we have a good uh, experiment in Al-Ittihad, which is the print content, brand content, many resources. I don't want as a digit, uh, traditional advert, but I want just to announce or commercialize the brand. I want you, I want you, for example, to promote or to make a brand. Also, subscription concepts and to give uh, privileges to the subscribers. Also, uh, partnerships, working with partnerships, okay, working with uh, partnerships to reduce the cost. Also, um, uh, publishing or the publication of uh, diverse uh, copies and editions for different uh, audiences, integration of copies. Also some recommendations, uh, the integration between the digital and the paper, according to nature. The printed goes to analysis, interpretation, and specialized. Digital goes to news and uh, live streaming. <laughs> So uh, the site and the printed newspaper should not be uh, contenders. They should c harmonize with each other. Also the elaboration. Also we must uh, find and define the target to find the interests and uh, the cares, the affairs. What he, is he interested in? On? Also making surveys and uh, inclusion of uh, readers to express and participate in writing uh, articles and expressing opinions. Also the way uh, uh, papers are uh, published, we depending on visual aids here. That was a simplistic presentation of our reality, daily reality, and uh, the finding of the transformation of uh, media and what are we required, what measures we are required to take in uh, journalism in newspaper, whether locally or uh, uh, in the re Arab region as uh, generally in the future. We must present the paper copy to serve and support the digital, co digital contact. Thank you. I'm sorry for being long. Thanks, uh, Mr. Hamad. Before we move uh, to Mr. Abdullah Al-Bandar, one question, please. You uh, presented the idea of the USA Today to move a digital uh, copy. Can we see an Emirati uh, journalism that, that uh, 
go directly to the digital, completely to digital, digitalizing a newspaper? Or would you prefer uh, a combination of paper and digital uh, journal? As for me, I prefer a combination of uh, the digital and paper because till now I believe that there is uh, some prospects for the success of uh, this combination between the digital and harmony between the digital and the paper, uh, newspaper. There must be integration and each one should uh, support the other. And as the recommendations put in the presentation, the paper should work for analysis and studies more often, and the digital goes for news and live streaming. That doesn't need analysis and cannot wait for any, any, any longer. Thank you so much. Now we move to successful models, successful models of media discourse. In the, uh, before Her Excellence Dr. Doria talked about uh, the past, the message before was a word or a pigeon that might re reach or deliver the message from place to place or communicate the message from place to place. Today, a child in China a child in China can make a mention to Obama on Twitter and this message can reach. A tweet on Twitter can influence the public opinion. Even this person has only less than 2,000 subscribers or viewers. For example, we saw many YouTubes that a child would be competing uh, well-established media companies. A, ch a laugh for a, a broadcast or an anchor can uh, influence uh, more than uh, meetings and uh, conferences and achieve the big uh, rate. And that was uh, uh, an accident. So digital media's uh, criteria have changed. The new media or the media and it's a new shape with a development bleeding technology it has. We found now uh, big names in media couldn't work out in social media. While uh, lay or outsiders uh, could succeed. There are, we also we notice that there is a difference between the manchette headline in the newspaper or, or the digital. Should I use a picture, for example? Should I YouTube? How much is the timing of the video? So some of the questions, some of the criteria now are controlling the success in the digital media. Successful models of media discourse Mr. with Mr. Abdullah Al-Bandar. What are some of the criteria through which we can de de decide that this model or this media discourse is successful? How can we say this discourse is successful while others are not? What are some of the criteria? Good morning, everyone. First, I'm very happy to be here in the Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research. And thanks, thankful for the invitation. I'm happy to be uh, on the panel with an elite, Mr. Hamad al Kaabi, uh, Mr. al Horais, also Mr. Abdullah al Harthi. Also, let's differentiate between uh, me successful media discourse and the professional uh, media discourse. It's, uh, it's media always a propaganda that can uh, influence the public opinion. And it's always the duration of success is very short. But the successful uh, uh, professional model, uh, even whether, also whether in mainstream media or digital media, and the challenge of main media is to cope with the uh, bleeding technology of media nowadays. So the successful professional media discourse must always have uh, a long-term uh, project. And this is a problem we have in the Gulf and the Arab region generally. There is no long-term project in the Arab region. Uh, 
also must have, must have a rational uh, objective discourse. These are some of the challenges that face the traditional media discourse. It must be rational and objective, and the duration of success must be long. Also, we talk about the professional media discourse, which is successful, and let me be frank, as Al Jazeera channel, and let me be frank, Al Jazeera channel, for example, in an epoch, an era of time, we all lived. We lived the, what is the so-called of the spring, uh, Arab spring, which I call uh, Arab autumn, because it witnessed destruction and fall a part of many states. So Al Jazeera channel uh, influenced easily, instigated uh, the masses, uh, but the success was very short. The success of Al Jazeera channel was short, because after a short time, this media, and according to many statistics, uh, current statistics, Al Jazeera channel lost more than half of its followers after the Arab Spring as it is called. And as our symposium today deals between reality and aspirations, I say well, frankly that the reality and the aspirations is a, a project, as I said before, is a long-term media project. How? As I said, the Arab autumn, in the Arab autumn, did we have a media project to counterface that era? No, of course, we didn't have a project to counterface that thought and media. Why I say it succeeded, but shortly, and here we, uh, historically it happened 70 years ago, between 1933 and 1945, uh, in the Nazi uh, commercial or media and uh, propaganda which uh, was led by the uh, by Goebbels, the Nazi uh, Minister of Information Goebbels. It succeeded for uh, turning and uh, influencing the opinion of people to invade, and they succeeded in killing millions of people. And that's what happened in the late in the last years and during the, the Arab Spring. Al Jazeera and the uh, let me call it the evil media succeeded in killing millions of people. It's possible that a change in governments, but what happened in the Arab Spring wasn't a change in governments. It, it took it, uh, killing, uh, displacement, uh, destruction, uh, not governments, but states, a strong, powerful states fell apart and destroyed. And lately, which are uh, very immediate, now we have a higher awareness. And uh, unfortunately, it uh, wasn't raised by our uh, mainstream media between working between 2010 till now, but, uh, but it was uh, raised through the digital uh, media, not through long-term project, but by through young generation realizing the value of these uh, platforms as a uh, media personnel you must always uh, be addressing audience you must be among the audience to influence the audience so young generation started uh, to use uh, digital media through tweets uh, posts videos and uh, the evidence for this month ago less than a month ago uh, evil media promoted uh, demonstrations in Egypt uh, to recreate uh, this project but it failed in uh, short days why because young generations and the awareness in social media destroyed the big uh, organizations that uh, were leading uh, Arab masses during the Arab Spring.
At that time, uh, we did not have the tools to face uh, this uh, evil media, but now awareness is there. And now, it's within our capability uh, on social media can face big uh, organizations. And because I elaborated on uh, new uh, media, uh, scientifically, media uh, focuses on three factors, uh, importance, uh, accuracy, and uh, pleasure. When I talk about the pleasure, uh, not comedy only, but the pleasure to make uh, your uh, pre presentation is pleasant, attractive to the reader, to the viewer, to the user. Always. Uh, the media discourse will succeed when it is interesting, when you are uh, addressing uh, or pleasing your uh, ta audience. Now I told you, we are moving in a quick world. I can't uh, watch uh, YouTube for 20 minutes video. I can, even if your topic is... Uh, decisive and importance, yet uh, uh, being long will uh, affect it negatively. So you must uh, make it s smartly uh, and concisely short and expressive. So here the, the easy part, at, which is at the same time difficult, is how to tackle a sensitive, critical, uh, important issue, but uh, shortly and attractively. Also, we mentioned the importance, which I mean here, uh, you can't uh, the world talk about earthquake somewhere in the world uh, and uh, uh, media discourse come to talk about for example uh, to talk about honey uh, honey or bees in the seashell archipelage here you must know the interests of the targeted audience to know how to turn it on how to influence the audience so I must know the important topics and subjects that would be of interest to the audience. This must uh, make the media to survey the important topics. You see, for example, Google a trend, uh, Google a trend uh, in UAE, for example, uh, to see the top five uh, and see, for example, the top five uh, topics or trends in UAE that would interest UAE citizens. So Google Trends can help me decide the topic I must tackle when I am addressing a particular audience. These are some of the tools and the strategies and elements. Finally, also accuracy. And what I mean by accuracy here, you must be uh, uh, depending on uh, accurate, uh, authentic resources. As a reader, as audience, when I know that this media, this channel, this uh, site, this media discourse uh, turns out to be untrue and uh, I will leave you as a media discourse. Your uh, source will not be reliable to me anymore. And I uh, come again to mention Al Jazeera, which lost uh, half of the uh, percentage, 10 minutes. I still have 10 minutes and I want to use the chance to show you a video. This video I uh, made uh, shortly, uh, shortly ago and now in this symposium, if you allow me to present and display. A drug dealer, killer, who killed lots of... Uh, uh, killed many people. And if I ask you your opinion about this person, uh, you would hate him and ask him to execute this criminal. But if I tell you that millions are sympathizing with this killer, yes, media can make you sympathize with this leader. How? Media can incriminate the innocent and can make the criminal innocent. Example, Breaking Bad. Uh, for example, made uh, sympathize with this drug dealer who killed who, uh, many people. And this is uh, the influence media can uh, exert on media. 
It didn't tell you that he didn't, but he made, he presented oh, this man as a good man. Uh, this killer is a good man, but this man is a victim of many problems that you yourself could be the victim he, of the, like the man. You can be in his position. So this makes you sympathize with you. Also, let's have the um, Narcos which uh, sh uh, talks about uh, the which is uh, depicting the life stories of uh, killers like uh, and drug dealers like uh, Escobar who killed uh, m m hundreds of people but Pablo Escobar serial uh, liked this personality and became became a model became a sign a symbol for many people to come to his grave and put the flowers on his uh, graveyard and uh, Pablo is achieving his brother Pablo say, brother said now Pablo is achieving more money uh, than while he was alive uh, alive the also serial the Turkish serial of Arthur Gragel uh, which uh, presented the yeah came and attacked uh, the Turkish president, attended the shooting uh, sites and scenes to glorify the uh, criminal history of the Ottoman Empire and uh, whitewash that bloody history of the Turks and the Turkish history that killed and bloodshed many, many people. Who controls media controls minds, American. American uh, media also presented the American army as invincible and also full of uh, humanity, full of goodness. American sniper, and we all saw this movie, for example, American sniper in the Iraqi war, and the sniper through this v scene could uh, yeah, show us the humanity of the uh, American soldier. This also will affect the viewer, the watcher, and make the uh, American soldier as the best, as a fighter, as a good fighter, a fighter of uh, freedom and humanity. You see? This is the influence. This is the influence of media. Uh, finally, don't give up. Don't take things for granted. Don't give your mind to anyone without a re good reason. Stereotyping is very dangerous. Many media can make stereotype nationalities and states. So don't believe whatever is presented to you. Always uh, try what you see and learn. My question to Mr. Abdullah, the media discourse, the new media discourse today is able to cope with these challenges. Did it do what is required? I mean originally. Unfortunately, no. These are some personal uh, efforts made by influencers, but unfortunately, we don't have a well-defined project that can face, encounter, challenge uh, big media companies, so which some of them are really evil and harmful. I am frank and I am always positive, but when you talk about um, the profession or my hobby as it were, I see uh, why I'm being here media, it's really painful. I hope that media leaders in our country have a project a long-term project, a sustainable, permanent project to achieve the goals and to create media that is positive, able to uh, enhance the values of, uh, of tolerance and uh, peace around the world. We have many experience around the world. Uh, yet some, yet even some uh, mainstream media still till now can influence uh, the uh, streets in Britain. For example, do we have this type of influences? Unfortunately, no. Before I move to Mr. Abdurrahman, uh, the idea of defining objectives, leaders, Mughal invaded the world with a brutality, yet 
they studied the wolves. They studied the wolves before they start to put a plan. Mentality of wolves are the most flexible owned by wolves. The wolf is open to any change, can adapt with any change. This is one of the skills of the wolves. So the ability to flexibility of the wolves to adaptation, even in Australia, a pact of wolves, despite the technologies, yet they can uh, uh, invade or trespass farms. So the Muggle, in their invasion, studied the wolves uh, before they put their military plans. Leaders were chosen, handpicked through the wars. <laughs> by throwing uh, the leaders in the forest. So if he could hunt a wolf without weapon, he would be appointed as leader. This is away from, uh, yani, uh, this is aside to our topic, but I want to, to focus on the idea of openness and adaptation. We have five. Uh, so the wolf's openness to the surroundings the wolf can define the goal. It will define the goal. The goal is clear. Our goals, are our goals clear? No, here we are talking about the smartness uh, of the wolves and how can we project this on our media organizations. Do we have goals in our media programs? Does it harmonize with our ultimate objectives. After goal, we have collecting the data. Dr. Jamal, it said that we have a traditional here saying the wolf doesn't jog in vain, doesn't run in vain. After setting the goal, so data, data is collected. Sometimes we start the goal before starting collecting. If I have a problem, as Einstein said, and I have uh, one hour to solve, fifty-five percent of uh, this hour will be spent by putting a plan, and five minutes for solution. So you must plan your work. If you don't have a plan, if you don't have a plan, you will be plan of the others. So the wolf, back to the wolf, sets the goal, data, believes in the goal. So if you don't believe in your goal, you will not be able to influence the other. If I am talking, so if I want to talk about the policy of UAE and I am not fully aware of the information and the data and not believing in my object, I will not be able to represent UAE and express its policies well. So if the organization, media organization is capable, we are more than capable, but we must go over the last so goal, adapt, data collection, belief. Genghis Khan, Genghis Khan for example, uh, especially in his approach to choose uh, leaders, we have also flexibility. So when scientists studied wolves, they discovered that they are the most flexible animals. Whenever I have a media campaign against me, I mustn't be uh, intimidated. I must be uh, resilient. I am a wolf in media. I have goal, I have adaptation, I have belief, I have flexibility. So mechanisms to regulate digital content and raise awareness in society. Uh, a, a speech delivered by executive director of Abu Dhabi Network, United Arab Emirates. And I hope we will be all uh, wolves in our uh, media companies and not to be Nokia and Kodak. Uh, has been a stories. For example, Kodak uh, 
and Nokia uh, also that died out and uh, were replaced. And honestly, uh, we in our uh, in the Arab uh, media organizations, I hope will have uh, hope, will have goal and uh, will be open-minded. This is my the topic of my discussion. Let me start by de defi defining digital media and societal awareness. Digital media shows interaction with the web that allows to publish the content by the users through electronic sites, Facebook, Twitter, and all other interactive uh, sites. And this means that the uh, term of digital shows uh, the prominence of a new tools that has a content, uh, text, video, photo, sent by a sender to a recipient. But the tool uh, or is the internet. So anyone, anywhere can be a sender and anyone can be, can be a sender, a commentator and, and others be a sender. And uh, we have uh, digital uh, characteristics uh, for this, uh, which is the flexibility, universality and the quick and multiplicity, multi pluralism of uh, tools. Also, uh, contention and then also talked about contention and uh, competitive and harmony with this with the main uh, digital with the main digital is a two-edged weapon if it is used properly and directed well it is a cornerstone for development where uh, society can be used can be used as a source of uh, knowledge and recreation for beauty and peace also it can help us uh, raise generations and children but if it is misused or abused it would be a destructive and a tool of rumors uh, chaos and as dr abdullah said uh, the media product the positive one can change uh, ideas and control all uh, attitudes and uh, reshape uh, reality and uh, help uh, society build uh, positive attitudes and approaches and also help uh, spread awareness uh, with the priorities of the society, the values that should be uh, uh, adopted by individuals and citizens to be the propelling uh, power in the society. On the other hand, if a negative uh, media project can be ambivalent, destructive, disseminating, disseminating negative, despair, frustration, which makes citizens and people uh, put us in doubt, stress, worry, so became unable to interact with the surrounding. Uh, societal awareness is uh, individuals' awareness of the uh, relations and the communication among them so that they can develop and be a factor for development in the societies. This is for definition. Uh, so the societal uh, awareness is to build the states and societies on the base of knowledge that believe in communication and tolerance and uh, plurality uh, and cultures, uh, multiculturality, and to hate, uh, to, to, to fight hate and xenophobia. So it's awareness that activate mind and sentiments to understand and appreciate what is going around us on the environment and organize our relationship with our environment. So uh, awareness can be complete unless uh, developed sustainably and permanently through developing the mental skills uh, and uh, uh, sense or depending on the senses that make his experience in life. Now we'll talk, go to the uh, problems in the digital content in our Arab world, which we must be frank. Uh, many people uh, refer to the weakness of the digital content in the Arab world that uh, 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 hinder the transformation of our societies into uh, societies of knowledge and we find difficulty in using this digital that is uh, controlled by English in addition to other lang universal languages but while uh, the written uh, content in Arabic is uh, comes to, or is reduced to Two to one to two percent of the digital content, the the d level of the digital content in one language is uh, measured through indicators. The number of pages available on the internet in that language, the number of sites, how are much how much are they are used, uh, uh, search engines, to this in that language, 
In addition to that, some of the indicators, as we said, uh, precedes and revenues of media. And this the reduction and the, the lower cost uh, in uh, the venues in the Arab world is uh, very low for many factors. First, we don't have vision, uh, future visions and policies for the digital content in the Arab world. We don't have uh, wolves who can define the goals. Also, weaknesses for the infrastructure and management of this digital content. Also, to the absence of coordination between the Arab states. For this, we must work together to strategy, uh, general strategy to develop the uh, Arab uh, digital content that have a roadmap, a comprehensive roadmap to the uh, weakness of the Arab uh, digital content, uh, which allow the access uh, to the needs of the local society needs and achieve the directions, the plans, uh, sustainability and development of the national uh, governments of, uh, working on uh, knowledge economies, or the positivity of the digital content, the cornerstone of the digital content must is represented in many definers and indicators that enhance the societal uh, awareness, first the spread of knowledge and uh, uh, presenting uh, positive models that build uh, societies and make role models uh, and uh, enhance uh, its knowledge and uh, self-confidence. Also, uh, uh, fighting uh, address and discourse of hate and xenophobia uh, and uh, establishing uh, the cultures. Also, uh, respecting uh, other cultures, the cultures of the other, all cultures, respect the human values of beauty, honesty, uh, righteousness. Fourth, uh, also enhancing tolerance, discourse, and dissemination uh, of uh, our message uh, of tolerance and the value of coexistence and uh, establishing the, uh, the common destination so that we all work together for the uh, ultimate uh, humanitarian values, build not destroy. This kind of media can counter fight, can fight the uh, seditious media, the evil media that uh, disseminates hatred and uh, intolerance. Also enhance uh, moderation be which believes in uh, sustainable work to build a society b based on tolerance and moderation that would uh, condu be conducive to stability and settlement. No development and growth without settlement and stability. Sixth, fighting uh, extremism and terrorism. Uh, media must be able to have the tools, a language, uh, knowledge that can uh, know and understand and how to disintegrate and dismantle the mechanisms of extremism and uh, show the uh, effects, effects, destructive effects on the society and how can dismantle, disintegrate the fabric of society and uh, destroy and disintegrate uh, states and countries. So media here must fight terrorism and extremism uh, which uh, can work which is uh, can work with education that can create open-minded mentalities that uh, uh, um, help us uh, develop our analytical tools and make our societies of knowledge dialogue is represented based on one rule we must acknowledge the other with his culture. We must always depend on dialogue and nothing on but dialogue to depend on while changing and discussing, discussing the others and his opinions, even if he is different from us. It prevents also the, uh, the, the, the hatred and xenophobia. Self-awareness must be based on the idea of acknowledgement of the other and can be realized unless we acknowledge the others. No one can contribute positively and effectively in his society unless he ad admits himself the, the self which is based on ad admitting and acknowledgement of the other in life in any direction we take we can't achieve uh, a progress without acknowledging the difference and the, uh, the other cultures or the cultures of the others in UAE, for example, is considered one of the uh, most uh, countries that have diversities in cultures, uh, religions, languages, and it is more the diverse, most diverse countries. Media must uh, 
develop dialogue uh, culture to reach uh, mutual respect and uh, respect of the right of difference mechanism of uh, societal awareness formation digitally uh, digital media must uh, do fun social functions a child a children sector which is a lively sector we must uh, also depend on and work on to because this is a futuristic element we must have uh, knowledge artistic uh, that implant the values innovative values values of tolerance toler and values of love um, positivity in the uh, personalities of the children uh, role media role must enhance beauty and aesthetic role value role uh, also uh, mainly the linguistic uh, skill of the children also uh, nationalistic uh, and patriotic knowledge and uh, pride uh, you UAE, United UNESCO, UNESCO also paid attention to the richness of the digital content in enhancing the culture, uh, the children, and how we can have a qualitative jump in raising and building our children for the, the, for the future. Also, we have positive employment for social media tools in this direction. Also, uh, societal awareness must uh, uh, defending also b defending the role of the society represented in the real will of the state from its common and the joint will. It's it's a, a state where uh, rule of law is prevailing. All people are equal. Independent judicature will apply. Uh, also, justice pillars are there. No one is no one's rights are violated. Uh, relationships are based on accepting the other, uh, respecting the difference, equality before the law in obligations, duties, and rights. Rejection of violence, uh, rejection of extremism, rejection of. Uh, <laughs> and enhancing the concept of citizenship the so we are all we have must a secular state a man is equal before the law which all others have people are equal before the law building values enhancing values media with all its roles and the channels have a great role in building the values uh, developing translation of these values into uh, cultural uh, skills uh, performed by people by uh, uh, on convention and convinced to do these and to believe in these values also in building societies and uh, evolution uh, of our uh, people to make them an added value in the sustainability and values. Societal awareness will protect individuals, family and society from moral corruption and will establish the positive society. Societal awareness is necessity for building a powerful state. People can work uh, fairly and honestly. It's not a random fruit. It's a long, uh, a long, it's a fruit done by long work, patient work. We must also develop researches, researches and studies that will help develop a positive attitude building identity media also must uh, show that uh, societal identity is not uh, uh, is not a dead uh, fixed uh, state but it's a dynamic state that must be flexible and can change and cope with the uh, development so identity challenges and the crisis should be faced should be faced and tackled so people so people must be proud of their identity and respecting the identities of the others under the umbrella of the patriotic national so identity is a result and conclusion of a continuous interaction it doesn't mean a, a, a absolute harmony at all but it must be that I am different from the others and others are different from me but yet respect is a prevailing horizons of research for solutions and solutions 
Some studies have set the content, digital content, which is compatibility, quality, uh, accessibility, accuracy, as we should also cope with marketing campaigns to tackle different targets. Finance also is one of the most important uh, factors to achieve uh, uh, wanted sustainability. Uh, funding and f in, uh, su sufficient funding is related to the success, is, um, uh, is, a, is a pillar for the success of the digital media. So the weakness of the digital media content in the Arab world is uh, la shortage in uh, technological infrastructure and the importance and awareness of the importance of digital media. Also, uh, publication companies uh, uh, lack of awareness of the importance. Uh, awareness of the importance of digital media also and the importance. Also, we must uh, also lack of individual initiatives. Uh, universities also role are weak. Arab states also lack the le laws and legislatures to, for, that will protect the intellectual property. Uh, control of the content uh, requires putting a big strategy or oh, well, number one policies strategies to develop the digital content in Arab world from content and infrastructure and uh, uh, supply and demand there is a gap between the local content and the international content and the providers also the users demand. Also establishing an Arab uh, organization for digital content that will depend on collective work and will uh, do away with conflict. Also development uh, search engine, Arab search engine and uh, inventory and directory for Arab uh, contents with different lively languages. Fourth, uh, investment in uh, creation and translation of content mainly the content that will support the digital content in the Arab world in all fields. F five, we must also direct the efforts to invest in the digital content as building uh, the capabilities and the supporting the others. Finally, it's important to have a survey for all our digital content uh, projects in the Arab world and enhance the communication all the end between entities that will perform to, uh, to avoid the duality and conflict and coordinate also to work for coordinating and harmonizing to enrich the Arab digital content in the light of uh, measurable criteria. Thank you. Uh, thanks, uh, Mr. Abdurrahman Al Harithi, for this wonderful speech. And now discussion is open. But before, I'd like you to make a survey, primitive survey. I'd make a question. Uh, the TV content followers or users, social media. Please, I want you all to participate, please. Those who uh, follow uh, the mobile, iPad, Instagram, those who follow and use this content, sometimes I try to, to reduce the amount of hours I spent on social media. The question is, who follow the content from newspapers and television? television and the newspapers. Who follows the content from television? Please participate. We have para prizes. <laughs> right, doctor? Who follow the content from television? I don't see television at all, by the way. Who follow the content uh, through? on newspapers. This is tradition. Who follow the content from social media? Let's go. Let's go then. That's it. Let's call it a day. The question is, what have we done so far to cope with these people, these clients, these users, the audience? What have we done? Now I will uh, be flexible like Wolf. 
accept, adapt to the change. Open-mindedness is important. Accept any idea. Don't clench to anyone. Don't hold to any idea just because it's a traditional or you can build up on your professional skills and capabilities with the new challenges. The question now for the, our colleagues. What have we done to satisfy our clients? The new content, many newspapers, many t TVs. Sometimes they would broadcast the same content uh, are put on the digital. The game is different. The content is, have, is based on different levels. What can we, how can we cope with the needs or consider the needs of the people? In the newspapers first. And the social media content is totally different from newspapers. And during the presentation I said, we can uh, specialize each one a field of work so that they don't have go in conflict. Social media can work to serve paper media. And this is what we aspire from. This is my plan. But as a content, it's totally different. What is published in newspapers must be different from different social media. For example, even in social media communication platforms, the video that is m more than two minutes, most of us will not complete it, complete watching. We are all looking for short messages because this is life change. Life, life tempo has changed. We are all trying to, re to get information as fast as possible. This is our nature. <coughs> now even the center or media generally must study how to deliver the message. How to deliver the message. We must put a plan about how to deliver the message to cope and be abreast with the new generation, to, uh, to address the new generation. If we go to WhatsApp and we see a long time video, we don't see that video. Some senders, some senders, for example, in case of long videos, he will ask you to request to, 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 to continue which, uh, to, to see the video till the end. So each one should work to help to serve the other. Abdullah, Mr. Abdullah. Educated people <coughs> above 18 loses his focus after seven minutes. Seven minutes, after seven minutes, he will lose focus and concentration if he doesn't in interact. That's why social media uh, depend on interaction. How can we help audience interact with our content in the mainstream media. Uh, I find it more difficult. Mainly when you, uh, when you have a critical, sensitive topic, it's difficult to, to, to make mistakes here. So in social media, how can I make or send my message, deliver my message easily, accurately, and fast. As for uh, mainstream, traditional or new media, one of the editors uh, in chief in our Arab world wrote an article. <coughs> the competition between uh, the traditional and digital media, it's a reality, actually. This is development in media. He wrote an article which is like that has diminishing, diminishing and devaluating the media, digital media uh, <coughs> workers. I don't know if he uh, c consulted the figures and the statistics. Uh, of uh, those who watch uh, and uh, depend on digital media. 
maybe sometimes uh, dep this depends on the influencers. So influencers uh, sometimes can affect rates. So the good and bad are always there, whether in a new media or traditional media. So the non-acceptance of all the journalists in the new digital, of the new digital workers, this is a problem in the leaders. If you don't uh, cope and uh, keep abreast with the new uh, generation of media, you will fail. For example, many uh, important newspapers in the Saudi Arabia now are not able to attract audience. Now they have lost their audience uh, Users, as Sabak, for example, as Sabak newspapers, a Mecca newspaper, have lost the ground, have lost uh, grounds. But now some of the newspapers also, who could adapt to the new technology by using videos, by using some uh, visual aids, uh, achieved uh, better success. So allow me, Mr. Faisal, Mr. Abdul Rahman, in the, his paper, put two uh, important points. First, first, media to the children of children, child media must be focused on uh, lots of influence uh, is uh, exercised on children on youtube maybe we are not interested but children is uh, audience is very important and can be influenced easily or our children are uh, following uh, things that we don't know but yeah they are influenced we must uh, invade uh, we must go into this market the second point is th the weakness we are below uh, poverty line and in internet we are 0 0.8 uh, Arab language uh, internet content you can imagine Arab uh, uh, Arabic language uh, is just having this rate. Just imagine that the Czech language has a higher. So our content uh, posted in Arabic is very weak. So our content must be in Arab must be must be also worked on in Arabic. We must have our own content in Arabic. Mr. Abdul Rahman, uh, but sometimes between the programs that we say mass media programs is make a challenge to the media entities leaders how can we balance our equation between responsibility and recreation so how can we how can we balance between commercial uh, aspects of programs and uh, responsibility in the, such programs for to raise uh, societal awareness. If I link it to the digital media also, how to measure? We have a problem of measurability. In UAE, we have a program called Good Evening, Masaam Kum Khair. How can I measure the reactions, uh, the audience rate? I must wait for a week, a week from the company. The company can depend on Catty call system, uh, which is a uh, call system. But if I put the same program on online, on Twitter, on YouTube, for example, I can directly know the reactions and the number of uh, the figures of the viewers and see if the, uh, the attitudes were positive or negative. This is our suffering. As we know, no, we, we have eight channels, 14 TV channels, Zart uh, al-Khalij, Tehadi newspapers, Majid channel. The new trend is the content is the base, the basis. In an article written by my brother Hamad, uh, the content is the basis, the foundation. Channels are different, but the content is the same, whether picture, video, uh, text. Most important thing is how to distribute. So it's here we have to find the right way to distribution, the right way uh, of audience, the right way of users. So here we have also the commerciality, commercial, commercial aspect. Many can entities uh, depended on ads and changed from traditional commercials to digital commercials. And for many reasons, financial reasons, 
if you have an account for example i can uh, an account and i can put uh, or upload an ad i can see the number of uh, viewers you can see for example active also that some people have seen your uh, content and this is uh, what is uh, f later uh, adopted and this uh, uh, Amar has adopted this uh, approach, 80% of its uh, ads went to the digital uh, sector because they have discovered if you sell a flat f and put an ad on the digital platform and found an influencer for uh, the ad he will see that the feedback the viewers will be 80 percent more than the traditional uh, ad this is a suffering and this will affect us financially we must tackle this issue and we must change we must adapt and here that's what mr for example at the newspaper uh, we have the platforms that uh, immediate uh, news in details uh, and in depth if you want to take it in depth and in details you can go to the newspaper this is generally how can we make the challenge into a success? The problem, how can you make the... I have a story here. One, the one of the anchors in the world, in the beginning they gave him a chance to, to present a program, a broadcasting, and to be a liaison. A liaison, a liaison, or, yeah, in Miami. He started in Miami and it was a New Year's Eve. He went to the program in the morning, early morning. He had, uh, a, after insistence, he gave him 15 minutes uh, to make a question and at the end uh, to answer. He, so after the reel, he put a song, he slept. He slept over uh, and then the reel so all people were snorting of the anchor. He was sleeping. He was snorting. And the mic was very sensitive. People, audience, were snorting. So how can you make the challenge into success? There is always a solution. Let's be flexible. This person found himself. So people were... So people were interacting so people were called called fire engine stations fire stations when they came to the station it will not open unless it's uh, unless it's uh, open from inside if you open from outside <coughs> it's silencer it will not open he woke up the anchor woke up. Once he woke up, he saw the, looked at the time, the mic, saw people watching. He knew now he will be terminated. And here, a chromism will not work. So he'll be fired. So once he opened, people... So he changed, he directly, our episode today about how they, the fire station personnel will respond to crisis. So he changed the challenge, the problem into success because he was flexible. So he used the situation to contribute to his success. Larry King story, how to talk to any person at any time, for any, any time, any place. Larry King, there's always a solution. There is always a solution. So this is my tip, my advice to the new media men. There is always a solution. You must find the solution if you are flexible and self-confident. Companies, content creator always have a solution. Very beautiful story. Flexibility and resilience are the most important aspect of media and media personnel so to reach the goals set by us 
and we achieve the challenges you just mentioned, how we transform the challenge into success. The challenge currently is to achieve integration, transforming into digital and preserving the traditional media. As I said, this field is still achieving revenues till the last breath. Thank you. As uh, challenges and uh, resilience in media, it's um, the most difficult challenge, for example, covering the pilgrimage or Hajj season. Al Hajj season, when covered, it would be simple, direct. Uh, uh, the anchor from the studio would describe uh, the rituals of the pilgrimage. This is the pattern. Last year and the year before, uh, we wanted to present or cover the pilgrimage differently. We went down to the streets among the people, the pilgrimage, to find the services, make stories uh, that will attract people, that will be of interest to people. We went into this line and made from the Hajj, from the pilgrimage, uh, made many stories uh, with million of views, with millions of views, and uh, we were, we got the a new media prize from Sky News was our uh, trophy for this. So whenever you have a mission, whenever you have a challenge, there is always something to new. You must make, create different content. Last minute to Mr. Abdurrahman. Go back to your first word, how as media entities we must be wolves. And we always put Kodak, Nokia before us to accept the reality and the challenge. We must take the challenge, we must accept the challenge, we must always scope the digital <coughs> development and technology, latest technology, cutting edge technology because digital media now is pre having precedence. Thank you very much, Mr. Hamad, Mr. Abdullah Al-Bandar, Mr. Uh, Hamad Al-Abd Al-Awad, Mr. Ahmed Kaabi. Uh, so we must uh, define the goal, collect data, believe, spread, believe our values and be flexible in dealing with any challenge. Thank you so much uh, for Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research. Thanks, Dr. His Excellency Professor Jamal Sanaswidi for allowing us this chance. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the participants and the panelists and the symposium. Thank you, Mr. Faisal, for the pond being moderator for this panel. Thank you so much. And here, our dear audience, our agenda or our symposium for today, the role of media platforms, reality and aspirations comes to its end uh, again on his behalf. And I would like to thank His Excellency Professor Jamal Sanad al -Suwaydi. All thanks go to all the participants and you honored attendance. See you soon again, insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum.